G'day. I've been mucking around with a product recently. It's called Triclinium. Now I saw on their website they use it on range hoods. Range hood filters can often be really bad and it's been a while since I've had a bad one, but I found one. So here it is. These ones always get a whole lot of grime in them. It's really, really sticky. I'll give you a bit of a look. Look at all that. Oh, delightful. So we're gonna see what we can do to get rid of all that. And to do that, we're going to the bathroom. One of the best areas to clean range for filters, I think. Now I'm sure it needs a soak or something along those lines, but we're gonna get it started though. As you can see, it's breaking it down. By swishing the range of filter in the bath, what you're doing is actually letting all the water run through. So it gets to places where a brush can't get to. So if you've got this old kind, I do have glass paneling here. It is better to get it out. You have gotta be careful, sharp. I can already see that's making a big difference. But you can see all the grime still stuck in there. All right, so we're probably gonna to have to give it a rinse and give it another run. It's a good sign that all the fat's coming out. That's thick stuff. I'm probably gonna to need to soak it. One more scrub. Now I'm really just trying to get all the, all the surface stuff because what you can see there is still inside it. It's feeling really light compared to what it was. So we're just gonna let it go for a little bit longer to see if any of this actually comes out. Now while that's soaking over there, I just wanna quickly show you something, right? Range hood filters, they're not as tough as you think they are. Uh, you can actually damage them quite easily if you use the wrong product. Now this is an example of the wrong product. Great for oven cleaning, fantastic. I use it all the time. Not on range of filters. It'll actually degrade the range of filter, oxidizes it, turns it white, and you can also leave stains. Like these two. So just stay away from the caustic ones. There's no need for it. There's other solutions, which I'm showing you now. Let's check it out. Now I just want to see if I can lighten them. Give it a go. I'm just trying to get the bristles of the brush to loosen it up. One last rinse. Now hot water's bringing out sort of stuff. I'm a picky bugger, so I gotta try and get rid of this. Let's see the water's changed color. There's definitely some in there. That's yeah, pretty good. So here's our toys. Now it's really important when you're doing range of filters that you dry it well. You don't want any water to stay in it because they can rust. So just make sure it's all very dry. Now the best way to dry these Get some sort of towel or something on the, on the bottom. Stick it on the top. If I can have a dry towel on top. Give it a whack. Just clears the water from the inside. But that is good. Let's put it back together. Look at that, new world. And the job is done. Nice and clean. Now, was a test for this? I'm gonna say it worked extremely well. If you've got a really heavy duty job, whether you're doing your own bottom clean and your own move out clean, this would really help. You'll use it for a lot of things. If you've got a cleaning business and someone's paying you to do it, you wanna get the good results. There's probably other things that'll do it too. But let's start with this. This was the test and I'm very happy. There you have it. If you think this video is good stuff, please tap the like button and share it with your friends. I'd love you to join me on this journey. Just tap on that face with the green circle to subscribe. Here's a couple more videos to check out. Thank you for watching and good luck with your cleaning.